Plex kept walking until he heard some pattering once again. Maybe it was a rabbit or something. He looked behind a tree and saw a fish footman running to a house. I did just know this is a dream, he said to himself. But everyone told me, especially Fofa and Tootie, dreams come true. But then a a knocking sound was heard as Plex stopped talking to himself. It made him laugh as the knocking stopped. Then he ran out of behind a tree and watched the fish footman open the door. As a fry footman walked out of the house to get the invitation for the duchess to play croquet, the fish footman said, For the duchess to play croquet, said the frog footman. <laughs> Nice knowing, Majesty. Thanks, said the fish footman. Plex did not know what was going on, but now, but he decided to look at the frog footman after the fish footman left. The frog footman sat down and just spoke to itself quietly. <sighs> Plex walked up to it. Excuse me, sir, he said. Who can let me in? Well, said the frog footman, the only way to get in, you better watch out for those. Couldn't you mention that the dishes and plates and all of those crying in the house? Explex for crying out loud. The frog footman said, Pretty sure. Yes, I secured that note from the Queen of Hearts. The Queen, it is. Do you like it? Uh, yes, Lex said anxiously. Then, a, a plate swooped out of a window and broke into pieces, and Plex came here crying from house. Then he was scared once again. Now, can someone please let me in again? He asked. Yes, the frog footman said, but you can probably go in. Thank you, sir, said Plex as he opened the door and went inside the house. He looked around the room and saw a duchess holding a crying baby. A cat, who has a grin on its mouth, and a cook, who is looking for a pepper. Everything began to be smoke as Plex watched the horrifying cook throw stuff out of the cabinet. More pepper! More pepper! More pepper! The cook screamed as she threw a plate, making an... Smash into pieces. More pepper! Plex began coughing slightly. (coughs) That's too weird, though. Why is she mad? He asked himself. The baby just kept crying as the yellow magic robot looked kind of sad and bad for the baby. Then... He turned around and looked at the cat with a smiling grin. Why is it grinning like that? He asked. Could you please tell me, why does that cat grin? Because he's a Cheshire cat. Pig, the Duchess said. Don't call me that. And my name is Plex. I told you that, like... Uh, a few times, Plex said. But but that doesn't look very important to me, Duchess. Well, 
Could you please tell me? We still need some more pepper. The cook yelled, throwing another plate as it smashes to the ground. The Cheshire cat took a small grin. Plex was still scared of the fact that it was getting all smoky. I couldn't pleasure that, he said. But I must be a great magic robot. Let me talk, calm down this baby, because he is crying. The Duchess said that she held the baby to her hands while the baby cried. Here, she said as she put the baby into Plex's hands. Take it, Plex looked confused. Uh, okay then, he said. <sighs> A few minutes later, Plex ended up in the forest, and he found the baby to be a pig. Maybe you're right, baby pig, he said to the baby pig. I can take you out. He let go of the baby pig out of his hands. Now let me see, he said to himself. Where was I? Then, and he turned around and saw a grin behind him. Whoa! He screamed as he tried to run away from the grin. grin. But the grin said something. That way is where you wanted to get to. Plex found it to be a Cheshire cat sitting on a tree. Cheshire cat, said Plex. Can you tell me how to get back to the beautiful garden? Well, said the Cheshire cat. In that direction lives the Mad Hatter, and in that direction lives the Marsh Hare. But which way do I go? asked Plex. But we're all not here, said the Cheshire Cat as it faded. Went away. Plex looked at its grin once again, and he was confused about being mad here. Hey! Plex cried. I'm not surrounded by mad people. Well, in case, the Cheshire cat said, you'll go to the Mad Hatter's house, okay? Uh, the Mad Hatter's house? Asked Plex. Yep. To the loo, the Cheshire cat said, as it grin faded away. Plex took the left direction to the Mad Hatter's house. Not even has he been to Mad in Wonderland before, but he did notice that the grin is when someone smells a big smile. And at least, he said to himself, a grin without a cat is not a good place it's supposed to be.